Joe, your thoughts on that one tonight? Uh, frustrating. I think for large spells of the game, we were fairly comfortable. I think we had a lot of chances um, that we could have done better. I could have done better with final balls and certain aspects of the play. But overall, I thought we were we were very good at large points of the game. And it's just a, a crazy 10 minutes, as the gaffer and Cliff have said in the changing room. And we've got to be better on um, and learn how to deal with it and manage the game. Really good test against a high, highly mm -hmm. energetic team as well. Really yeah, definitely. Teams. I mean, I'm sure a few of them lads will go on to have um, really good careers at the club and, and it's it's good to see. But whoever we play, we, we're going out to win and it's frustrating when we come off the pitch and from such a comfortable position thinking how the hell have we lost that game. So, well, Drew then lost on penalties, but it's just frustrating really. And says that frustration really felt across the dressing room. Yeah, all the, all the lads know it. All the lads um, were walking off the pitch. We knew that we should we should have seen the game out, should have seen the game out better. Um, and yeah, it's just overall the, the feelings frustration. Because you responded really well to that initial setback of, of falling behind, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we had a lot of chances. Obviously, I got my goal via a deflection, but um, and I think we had a lot of chances. I think we were we came out second half done really well as well. Um, and it just got to a point where I think we just um, had bad habits come into us, which is unlike us, and we'll make sure that they uh, don't come into it in the future. Not the cleanest goal you'll have ever scored, but no doubt you'll be happy to, to get off the mark for the club. Yeah, I mean, your first one's just about getting it in, isn't it? Um, obviously, I'd love to have been a cleaner strike and a, and a nicer goal, but as long as it says my name on the score sheet, I don't mind. So um, I'll take a few more of them if they come. How do you assess your time at the club so far? Uh, it's good. Obviously, I think like everybody you'd like to play more, but how the how the lads are doing? They were top of the league for a lot of it. They're always the high up, so can't really complain. While the boys are playing well, I've just got to keep myself ready for an opportunity. And when it comes, I've got to grab it with both hands. And um, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm really enjoying it though. I feel like the everybody at the clubs helped me settle in. Um, obviously, moving up here, it's um, a bit different. But um, no, I'm really enjoying it. How do you assess the kind of the, the step back up for you? How have you found it? <clears throat> yeah, I think um, obviously pre-season it was it was the intensity that got me, but then getting more into games and seeing how it is. I think it's just about know-how and and not being able to take your foot off the gas really, like that intensity. Like whereas sometimes you could probably get away with it. You have to be on your game 100% every game. So I think it's um, it's good. It's good. I'm really enjoying it. It's a it's a testing environment um, um, and it's highly competitive as well. You look at the squad, there's people that can come in and play at any time. So I think it's just about keeping myself available, keeping myself ready and once caught upon and doing, doing my job. Gaffer said it kind of sometimes takes a little bit of time just to get used to different ways of working and uh, have, that, have, you, have you found that? Is yeah, that yeah, hundred percent. I think, um, obviously, I, I don't think I'd be very useful if we were a direct team and I've, I've been in footballing teams, but each team's got their own set style and I think um, learning it, learning how the gaffer wants people in my position to play, learning off people who were playing who, where I'm thinking, oh, they've done that well, I need to bring that when I get my chance. So it's just about getting used to it, getting used to different players as well. like especially for me um, playing with Irons or Billy who's up there and it's about knowing where to be and where they want you really it's it's not about um, not necessarily tactics a lot of the time I think I've got used to that now I think I know jobs it's just about being able to get that environment where I know where to be with different players I imagine it's enjoyable for a player like you to, to play in that system so much movement across that, that front line and opportunities for you to be the furthest man forward yeah definitely I mean I think it's so fluid whoever plays we all know our jobs and it's just exciting to play and you know you're going to get chances you, you, you know you're going to get um, a lot of touches in the uh, final third so it's just about bringing your quality and making sure you deliver obviously an opportunity for, for you perhaps to, to play at the weekend we know that Harry Clifton won't be involved at the weekend after that red card uh, MK Dons but does that kind of in your, in your mind coming into tonight's game stick your hand up for, for a place at the weekend yeah I mean it, I think I would approach the game the same it, regardless of if Harry Clifton wasn't recorded I think it was I think it was potentially harsh um, you wouldn't you wouldn't want your place to come in a team at, like injuries or suspensions it should be on merit so all I've got to do is just keep going out there training games when I come on um, and put a, put a good shift in put a good performance in and the gaffer whoever he plays has got a 
do their job and make sure they stay in the team. A couple of young lads involved tonight. Yep. Casper Williams yep. at the back. How did you think he did first? Yeah, very good considering I didn't know it was his first start. So, yeah, really, really impressed with him. Proud of him. Obviously, being a teammate, it's a, it's a hard thing making your first um, start, especially against a team like that with all the movement. Uh, I think he dealt with it really well. I think he, he got the yellow card early doors, but then he, he was really mature in the way he handled himself and uh, didn't go into silly tackles or give the ref an opportunity because as we've seen with Harry that they are they're not shy of doing a double Sam Brown as well coming off oh, the bench yeah. what, Brown, have made, yeah. what have you made to Sam yeah really impressed with him um, I remember first session he was one of the first people I chatted to I was in the warm up with him and he's a really nice kid really wants to learn really hungry um, but obviously he's got quality as well we've all seen it um, and he's scoring loads of goals for the under 18 so he's just got to keep his head down keep going And but yeah I've been really impressed with all of them